find it in Texas and sell it to Mexico. So, so let me get this straight. You're building a pipeline that will carry tar sands from Alberta, Canada to refineries in Texas to be sold on the global market to the highest bidder? <coughs> Enough questions. Now get out of my way. Who are you? These pipelines transport what? oil and leak toxic yeah. chemicals you... on a regular basis. Sure. They're responsible for the new Keystone XL pipeline. Oh. Currently under construction, which will run all the way from Canada to Mexico. Oh, that's enough of all this. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Everything's perfectly safe. Now get out of my way. Oh god, really? <laughs> That's disgusting. It's still right here. <laughs> oh, oh, it's leaking! Oh. Oil spills! That's right, all pipelines leak. Even the companies that build them expect them to leak. <laughs> That's like a swimming instructor expecting some of their students to drown. Oh. Which has been in, in operation since June 2012, spent 12 times in its first year and 30 times to date. The cleanup is almost impossible because once a leak occurs, toxic chemicals separate and are immediately absorbed into the ground and drinking water or evaporate into the atmosphere. I bet these spills are contributing to global warming. Climate change! Sure are. Tar sands production has quadrupled the carbon emissions of conventional oil. Leading climate scientist Dr. James Hansen called the Keystone XL pipeline, quote, a fuse to the largest carbon bomb on the planet. If all the carbon stored in the Canadian tar sands is released into the Earth's atmosphere, he says it would be game over for the planet. So, this tar sand stuff, I've heard of it. It's, it's been a very controversial topic in the news. But what is it exactly? Inefficient fuel! <laughs> it's a fossil fuel called bitumen. Bitumen's bitumen? <laughs> bitumens consist of tar-like tar substance, which is then diluted with liquid gas products to make them flow. Tar Sands refuses to disclose a comprehensive analysis of its mixture of chemical dilutants used to transport the tar sands oil through the pipe. They won't tell us anything about the human health and environmental risks associated with the secret mixture. Great! And this stuff is just expected to leak periodically. Yes. Pipes and their leak detection systems are not designed to handle material so hot and corrosive. Spills are therefore very common and can go unnoticed for hours, days, and even weeks. You said you got this stuff from Alberta, Canada. From whose land? Mine. It's all my land.